Hi everyone and welcome to my Facebook Live number 13 and we are going to discuss or I'm going to share what I think about uh, this topic. A grammar is the foundation of English language success. So if you are watching live now you can ask any questions if you are watching a recording and if you have any questions after you can always um, let me know you can always ask me or message me so grammar how important is it or is it does it lead to success if you have um, seen my post I think you will have seen this joke or kind of riddle and I hope this is showing okay because there is always something wrong when I do a Facebook Live. <laughs> so I hope you can see this. I shared this little grammar joke or riddle with you and it goes, it's a joke between, conversation between a baby snake and a mother snake. And baby snake is asking, are we poisonous? And mother snake says, yes, we are. Why do you ask? And baby snake, imagine you are baby snake and you want to answer this. So because, and you need to use three words, just, bite, and tongue. And I want you to think about the answer. What uh, is the correct answer? Are we poisonous? Yes, we are. Why do you ask? Hmm, because I, hmm, 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 just bite tongue. What is the correct answer? I'll give you a clue. You need present perfect simple for this one. And if you are learning English, you know that present perfect simple is tricky. Then my question is, is present perfect important to you? Do you care about this tense? And I don't think I have good news for you if you say it isn't. <laughs> I'll tell you at the end. So the correct answer is because I have just beaten. I have just beaten my tank. Now, why is grammar important? I would like to know what you think as well. But why is it important? Um, if from your experience and from my experience, I can tell you from my, um, people make judgments about your education and intelligence based on your grammar. What do you think? Do you agree? People make ju judgments about your education and your intelligence based on your grammar. I know it may sound harsh, but I would like to know what you think. Is grammar that important? That it can damage your reputation or people may think that you are less educated or less intelligent because you don't speak good grammar. Now, maybe the question is, what is grammar? So, yeah, what is grammar? There are so many definitions, but basically it is a system, how language works, how words are connected, how they change, and how we form sentences. It is the, prob the, the foundation of a language, the, the main organization of the language. And if you are learning English, you know that Everybody complains about English grammar. There are so many tenses and it is so complicated. So do you even bother, you know, learning it? Do you care about the present perfect? Simple. As I said, if it's not important to you, I don't have a good news, unfortunately. But let me know what you think. So there are two functions. Uh, one is social. As I said. Maybe when you don't speak good grammar, then people will make judgments about your education, your competence. And it can damage it. 
when you write, when you speak, even when you write, when you communicate, when you write uh, emails, people these days are busy and, you know, they don't really want to correct it, correct your, your English. Even if you ask them, they don't, but they will make judgments. So poor grammar can let you down. I don't, just let me know what you think, you know, if you agree. So the first thing is, it's social. If you want to belong to, uh, uh, as a member of an educated group of like native speakers, then you will probably need good grammar. So the first function is social. And the second function is testing. If you are preparing for exams, you will most likely be tested on grammar. You know, uh, they will want to know if you, if, you, if you can use present perfect and past perfect, all these things. But maybe not so much fluency or words. But again, it depends on what kind of exam. But usually they will test your grammar. So it's definitely, grammar has definitely a testing function. So social and testing. And people learn this, students learn this mainly, you know, for exams. But then, as I said, there is this social function. So just maybe think about this, how from your experience, whether you agree, whether you think, no, nah, this is too much, this is too harsh, this doesn't happen like that. Would like to know what you think. And again, there is another question. Fluency and accuracy. Yes, you can communicate with poor grammar. You can say, I go to London yesterday or I go to London tomorrow. Bad grammar. But yes, you can communicate. Okay, so you can be fluent. But you are not accurate. And I am not going to, to go into details with when you should start learning grammar and everything. It's just for you. This is just, you know, I'll tell you what I think and you take from this video what, what works for you. And maybe it is just um, to make you think about it again. So we have discussed the functions and again about fluency and accuracy. And that is, what else did I want to tell you about? Um, so basically what I think is that if you want to stand out from the crowd, if you want to get a better job or better position, work on your grammar. There are so many grammar books that you can, you can choose from. Or you can always join my academy and we do have, um, you know, lessons, uh, lessons and sessions just on grammar. But just work on it. Maybe take it one step at a time. Yes, you can be overwhelmed by, by the whole thing, by the, all the tenses and everything. But if you study it step by step, it's all logical. And, and uh, you can do it. So my probably the, the big message is if you want to stand out from the crowd, if you don't want grammar to damage your reputation, then work on it. It's your commitment to, to excellence, isn't it? And it's, you know, sometimes people will think it, it's, on, it's only about non-native speakers of English, but, but English speakers have the same problem with grammar. It's not just us, you know, learners of English and you judge us. So it is the same thing, like, I know from my experience, uh, English people, some will say would have gone and they will say off, would off gone. So it's not only a problem for learners of English. Maybe that's a bit comforting. I don't know. <laughs> but they all, you know, we are all judged by the way we speak and the grammar wheels, not only spoken, but by written. So if you want to stand out again from the crowd and uh, you want to sound as an educated person, work on your grammar. And the second one was, yes, it is your commitment to excellence and professionalism and it represents you. So I think this is what I wanted to say. I wanted to, to make it shorter than, than 50 minutes. So I'm on 10 minutes, which is good. Let me know what you think.
how you, uh, you know, see English grammar. Do you agree that uh, we are judged and maybe it's not only about the accent, but grammar plays, plays a role too. Anything else, you know, you can always ask me now or you can, uh, you can text me and just, just tell me how you feel about it. Do you think it's a problem with non-native speakers of English or speakers of, of English, you know, native as well? that you judge them or you kind of make assumptions based on their grammar. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you don't have any questions, thank you for watching. And um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it or you have learned something from this. So thank you. Enjoy the rest of the sunny weekend. It's finally sunny in England after seven months of rain. <laughs> And um, yeah, okay, thank you, bye.